night. One thing about people here in the Richmond area, we love our music. And today the city broke ground on the newest opportunity to bring more major performers to our community on a larger scale than we're used to. Eight News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live in Richmond with more on this project. Sierra, good evening. Good evening, Eric. Well, this view is pretty beautiful already. Now imagine it with your favorite music ringing out live right here. Well, we are one step closer to turning that vision into a reality now that we've broken ground on Richmond's Riverfront Amphitheater. Taking center stage in Central Virginia. You've probably heard of Colorado's Red Rocks Amphitheater. It's world famous. I think the Riverfront Amphitheater has the potential to be the same thing right here on the East Coast. An ambitious Mayor LeVar Stoney helping break ground on the city's riverfront amphitheater. It was first conceptualized years ago. I was told there was an idea, uh, a dream of building an amphitheater here uh, along the river. And after battling a year long delay, hard hats are finally on and shovels are digging in. Live Nation's Kelly Flanagan spends a lot of time here in RVA. She thinks back to 2019 and the now shuttered Richmond Coliseum. Ever since that closed, we haven't really had the opportunity to bring in the talent that what requires big stages, big sound. Until now, featuring local vendors and our glittering skyline in the background, here's what the 7,500 seat venue will look like. Projected to create 300 jobs, and it's expected to bring in more than $30 million from concert goers a year. This is a jewel right here, and we want everybody, not just in the city, but all, all across the East Coast and America to enjoy it. 30 shows a season. It's a place right here for talent to come to us, so Richmonders don't have to make the trek to D.C. or Virginia Beach. I know there's a lot of folks who would love to see Taylor, folks would love to see Beyonce. I'm not, I can't promise you that, that's all on Live Nation, right? But I can tell, tell you this, there are going to be some great acts here, acts that you normally don't get to see in Richmond. We won't know which artists will break in that new massive stage until a little bit closer to the project's completion date. Right now, that's set for summer 2025. Stick with 8 News for updates. For now, 11 Richmond, Sierra Krug, 8 News.